Okay, I am going to show you how to make quick and easy bottle cap images using GIMP, which is a free program you can download onto your computer. Okay, first you'll need GIMP, <clears throat> and you'll need a one inch bottle cap template. I get mine from Etsy right here. You can search one inch circle template. And I always use Sunbeam Flow templates for anything I need. And they are buy two, get one free. And as you see, it's only $1.80, so it's a very small investment. <coughs> but once you have all that, you are going to start by going to File, Open, and then pick in wherever you saved your template up to your computer. I have a file reserved for just templates. You're going to pick out your template, and once it's open, you're going to click on it, and then you're going to right click on it, and add new layer, and make sure it's a transparent layer, and then the green arrow, you're going to move it down underneath your template, so that way when you put images on here, they're going to go behind this template and not find it. Okay, and then once you have that, you can color your background, which is what I like to do, because I like to have a border on all my images, which I'm about to show you how to do that right now. Uh, I just think it makes it look nicer. And to do that, you just color your background, a solid color or a pattern, however you want to do it. Grab your circle tool right here and make a circle. It does not have to be perfect. And then you're going to control C. And then you can exit off this. And then control V to get it on here. And then you're going to use your resize tool, just like this. And click your image and just scale it down to a smaller circle where it will fit nicely on in your circle and leave a border of the solid color behind it. And it may take you a few tries to get it the way you want it. And you can also zoom in. I usually like to do it at 25. Are 50%, where it's closer and easier to see. And you're going to put all your circles on. So you're going to control C, which is copy, and then control V, which is paste. And then you'll have your already sized circle ready for your next one. And now that you have that circle size copied, all you have to do is control V to keep putting it down and moving it to where you need it. So control B. And if I knew how to fast forward this for you guys, I would fast forward through all this, but I do not. So you will just have to wait with me. But while you're waiting, um, if you're using Googled images, you can go ahead to Google and get any image that you're going to want to put on here. And go ahead and get them picked out and saved onto the computer. And it's easiest to rename them so that you know exactly what to look for. Because on GIMP, when you want to open a file, it does not show the picture. It only has the name of the file. Although yours may be different, and that must be nice. Okay, now that we're done with all that, we're going to go ahead and open a new layer, transparent, and put it below your template again. And I'll tell you why I did that in a minute. <clears throat> and then I, I like to go ahead and do this which is I watermark all my images because I sell mine and when you sell on a computer you need a watermark so that nobody steals your images so you're going to get a, a 
change your color to, if you're going to watermark it, change your color to white. Pick out your font. And then I'm going to zoom out so I don't have to scroll up and down to get this covered. So you're going to click your text option and make a text over your entire template and put uh, do not copy or preview or your business name or whatever it is that you would like to put over your images. I usually just put do not copy and I usually copy that and paste it it up, but you paste it over and over again until it covers your sheet. And I'm just pressing Control V and Enter to get it all the way down quickly. And once that's done, you're gonna go to Opacity over here. And I usually like to just put mine down a little bit so that way you can still see the image pretty good. What you see, you still see behind it but there's still something blocking it. And then you're going to come over here where it says do not copy and you're going to want to click it and then right click it and push merge down to where it merges down into that transparent layer if you open the minute ago. And now you'll see this eyeball. Click it and it'll make it go away so that your image is clear for you to work with. Alright, and now you're going to click on your template and add new layer, transparency, and move it down behind the template. And I'll tell you why I did that also in a minute. Okay, I'm going to do two bottle cap sheets for y'all. I'm going to show you how to do it when something has a white background or a plain background that you want to take off. And then I'm going to show you how to do it when it is a full image with an active background that you want on the, on the image. Alright, so you're going to go to File and Open and go to wherever you save the images at. I saved them right here, just one through five. So I'm gonna click the number one, and then if you just click the first image you want, if they're all together, and then just shift and then click, it'll select from the very first one to the last one that you had your mouse on. Then you're gonna open. It's gonna open all those. And for me, I don't want my template like this. I want it to um, turn the other way. So I'm going to go to Image, Transform, and Rotate it. Because I'm going to do three of each image. And it's just easier to do it like this. Alright, and then we are ready to start adding images. This is a white background. I do not want this white background because... I have a circle to put it on and this is square and it would hang over on my pink border which I do not want that. So I'm going to go over and click where it says the image name and then right click and you need to add an alpha channel. If this is not a selection, it means the image already has it and you do not have to worry about it. But if it is black like this, you need to click it and add an alpha channel. All right, and then you're going to come over here and click uh, your fuzzy select tool. It kind of looks like a flashlight. And then you're going to click on the white background. And this will be the most complicated part to remember of this whole tutorial. Alright, so you're going to do control X. It's going to take all the white away. Or whatever color the background may be. Alright, and then you're going to do control shift and A all at the same time. And that just unselects everything. And then you're going to do Control V, which just copied this image. <clears throat> and now I'm going to go ahead and exit out of it and get it out of my way. And come back to my template and do Control V, which is pasting it. And as you see, the image is too big. So we are going to use our scale tool again. <coughs> and we're going to to lower it until it'll fit. This makes it lower all at the same time. Instead of like this, you can lower one side at a time and so on. So I'm going to have them together so that it makes it smaller evenly 
so I don't have deformed looking flowers. Alright, so you're going to get it down to the size where it fits within your white circle and not onto your border. And once you have that, you're going to do Control C, which copies it, and then Control V. That way it copies it to that size so you don't have to scale the image again. And move it down to the next one. And Control V, move it down to the next one. And there you go. <coughs> and now we're going to do that. Okay, I think I just froze up on me. Please tell me that. Okay. I thought it messed up there for a minute. Okay. Uh, now we're going to go to our second flower. Grab our flashlight tool. Add in our alpha channel. Select the background. Control X. Control Shift A all at the same time. And then Control C to copy it. And I go ahead and exit it because I am done with that one. And raise up my template. And control V to put it on. Scale tool. Make it small. And then put it on my white circles. <coughs> then you're going to control C to copy it at that. And then control V to paste it. Way it all stays on that size, and then control V again, and move it down. And then I'm going to grab my next image, add my alpha channel, and this becomes very routine. Control C, control shift A at the same time, control C, exit. Mainly, it's very repetitive, and I just did the same flower twice, but let's ignore that. And just keep going. Okay, control C, Control V. Okay. You're done. All right, and then you're just going to continue to do that until your page is filled up with your images. And that's how you take the background off of an image to put on a bordered uh, bottle cap image. Okay, and then when you are on GIMP. You cannot do save or save as. You have to go to export. And that will save it as. You put in. If it doesn't already say JPG. Put in JP, <coughs> JPG. Because <coughs> it will make it. Sorry. It will make it the highest resolution. So it prints very clear. And not blurry. Alright, and then you'll just press export, and you're going to make sure the quality is all the way up to 100%, and then you're going to press export. I'm not going to save this because I already have an image like this saved. Okay, and then if you want this image watermarked, you come back over and your layer number one was your watermark, and you're going to press the white square where the eye used to be, and now you have a watermarked image. And then you go and you export it, just like we did a minute ago. And you're going to want to rename it something else. And then we're going to hide that one. Okay, and now the reason I wanted you to have this transparent layer right here is for when you're making a bunch of these, you're not going to want to have to redo those white circles on every single one. Okay, right, so you're going to come over here to the layer that we added right click and delete layer and like that you have a new blank already bordered bottle cap sheet and you can change the colors of your background and whatever else you need that's why I'm gonna work. okay you change the um if you come over and click on your layer you can change the colors of your background. Alright, and then once we've done that, I want to show you how to do it when you have an image with, when you have an active background on your image that you want on the bottle cap. 
So, I'm going to come over here, open, and I have chosen to do Frozen because, well, everybody loves Frozen. And I couldn't decide what else to do for this video, so I'm going to do that. For some reason, my start bar right here isn't popping up anymore, so I'm having to bring up this just to get it up. Sorry about that. Alright, so we have our frozen images. Now what we're going to do for these, and you're not going to want these on these borders, so just ignore your border right now. And do not forget to add a new layer. So we deleted the last one to get the flowers off. So you have to add your new layer. We're going to lay it under the watermark. <clears throat> So once you've done that, go back to your image you have pulled up and you grab your circle tool and you're going to circle over the It does not have to be a perfect circle at all. So just get everything you're going to want on the bottle cap any little circle or oval or whatever it is you end up making. And control C, which is going to copy that. It's only going to copy what's in the circle. And then you can exit out of that. And control V. Which is going to put it on your template. And we are not going to want the border. You can do it with the border. But on here, I don't want the border. So I'm just going to stretch this out. Oh yes. And on this, you're going to want these unlocked because you have uneven circles so you're going to need to stretch it unevenly to even them out. So make sure that these chains are unlocked and then you're going to stretch these out and have your image and then control C copy, control V to paste it and then control V to paste it. Okay. And you'll grab your next image and circle what you want in the image. Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and then stretch it out. And put it on the thing. And you'll do this over and over. And just pull everything you want. Control C, Control V. And once you get this down pat, and all, uh, I can get one of these done in less than two minutes. So once you have the process down, you will be able to get these bottle, cam bottle cap images done in just minutes. That way you can get a lot done in just an hour. Um, especially if you Googled your images first, so you don't have to stop and Google each time. And I like to label mine 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just because it's easier to find and open. That way it's less time consuming, and I always delete the images after I am done with them. Just so my folder doesn't get filled up and I don't want to get confused on what I've used and what I haven't used. <clears throat> Anyways, you'll just keep doing this. I've saved one image for last. It's a bit harder to crop out so I can show y'all. So that's coming up right after this one. Go to Control C, exit, Control V, and stretch it out to your circle. And then control C to copy, control V to paste. And control V to paste again. And there we are. And now this one is going to be a bit harder to do. So I selected this just so I can show you that it's possible to do it. Move all their faces in there. Like I said. No perfect circle, not a problem. Um, control copy that. Uh, control V to paste it. 
<clears throat> use your scale tool to stretch it out to make your circle and then you'll line it up I'm gonna make it a bit smaller because Mr. Kristoff here is kind of cut out of the picture and there we go okay well if you accidentally do whatever I just did you can do control Z and it'll bring it right back Control Z is the undo button and one of my favorite buttons. And then you'll Control C to copy it that size. Control V to put it back down. And there we go. Um, I think it only took me like about two, three minutes to do this one, even while explaining it. So you can see how quick it is. And then make sure to export it as a JPG file and um, then you can come back over here, press your little I, put your watermark on it really quickly and you're done. If you would like to look at more of my images you can go to The Digital Diva on Facebook or Etsy my Etsy shop is 40% off right now on all my bottle cap images. So, great deal. And I hope y'all enjoyed the video on how to simply do images. And once you get really awesome at it, you can end up with items like this. Thanks for watching.